Hey, Ben Lataki. Hi, Amy. <laughs> How's Happy, it going? Good. Happy New Year. Yes. We are back live. We haven't done, me and you haven't done a lot of We video. haven't done one in a while. In a long time. And so, Amy. Well, something came up, and, <laughs> and so I wanted to discuss it just real quick. This is just going to be a short video. Okay. Um, so I want everybody to see, like, your initial reaction when I say a phrase. Okay, because it was what was said to me recently. Okay. And we're re re we are referring to real estate. We're not referring to like buying cars or appliances or couches. Okay. okay. So what what do you think when your seller says, we bought it on a handshake deal? <laughs> a handshake deal. <laughs> What's your uh, first my first thought? my first thought is you don't own this house. You don't own this real estate. <laughs> it's is messed it? up. Yeah. Did, Either the title works messed up or the deeds messed up or yeah, you don't own it. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't own it. Well, they might. What, what, what do you mean elaborate on handshake deal though? Okay, so um, well, a couple of years ago I had a, a good friend who wanted to buy his neighbor's house and we knew that there were back taxes and stuff on it and the seller had said to my friend you know well I want to buy or I want you to buy this house I'll pay all the back taxes you know 20,000 whatever out the door we're good so my friend was like well what do you think what should I do and I'm like you need to get title insurance and he's like I don't want to I don't want to pay for that you know mm -hmm. it's a couple hundred dollars I don't want to pay for that I'm like you need to pay for that yeah. And it took a lot of um, effort to convince him to get that. And like three months later, he was able to close because of all the title issues so, oh, that were involved with that property. When when we say you guys need to get title insurance, um, real most people, most people don't have any clue what, really what title insurance is or what title companies do. Right. Um, and in a nutshell, they make sure you own... The real estate yeah so they will make sh they will verify ownership currently and help us convey that ownership correctly to the new buyer right so handshake deals obviously that process was never done usually right and uh, usually there is the ownership There's is problems. Messed up. like there maybe it was an estate and you need to have um, death certificates recorded maybe there was a divorce those need to be recorded like there's so much that goes into it yeah. That could really screw up your deal and, and prolong you I've, from being able to sell it again. I've had clients come to me and to, to help them sell their house, mm -hmm. and they don't own it. Yeah, <laughs> it's happened. Well, we had we, one. We, we, we had one on uh, on Kibby. Yeah. About two years ago, it took it took Sam Crawford worked on that one, and mm -hmm. it took him probably a year to clean up that mess. People had passed away that owned it. Yeah, I, I had to notarize and stuff on that. We had to go to somebody's house and notarize and have them like sign off on yeah. ownership. Yeah, the person <laughs> living there that had been paying them, I don't know if they paid cash or what, but <laughs> paying all the taxes on it and living there, did not. they did not own the house. Like, we had a deal. a long way from owning it. We had a deal last year where the title work came back and there was like seven siblings or something. The parents were deceased and it was mm -hmm. it was a mess. And the seller was an attorney. And so and it was still like this. So really these problems occur when um, typically thirty thousand dollar houses are or less. Because people tend to think, Oh, you know, I'll I'll just you just buy it. Just give me twenty grand, and we're good. You know. Yeah, you, when, it's not like buying a as, car. As soon as you get a realtor involved, or a more a mortgage, mm -hmm. you know, a title company is somebody's going to start asking these questions. Right. But when but when people do these deals on their own with no guidance, no attorney, no realtor. Uh, just give me 20, that's, 20 that's, grand and that's when you shake on it. <laughs> yeah, that's when we see the, the, the problems. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the other thing to watch out for, because I've got one right now, is um, the auctions that people are. Yes. They're, they're buying stuff on um, Zillow or what have you through an, through an auction, online auction. Mm -hmm. And the one I got right now, there's an IRS lien. For, like 40 grand. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> we don't know who's going to pay that or if it's really still tied to the property, but it's recorded. Mm -hmm. So the attorneys are going to have to deal with that. 
bare minimum, we always, of course, want to be involved with your deal and, and offer guidance. That's why we're here. That's what we do for a living, right? We're the professionals. Um, but bare minimum, you need to have a title insurance company, title company involved somehow. Mm -hmm. so. Hey, Josh. Josh says, yikes, that's scary. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yes, it is. I guess if you say handshake deal to a real estate professional, we we all cringe at that. Yeah. That would be a. <laughs> yeah. We do. We got, we got problems right off the get. Yeah. We just know you. We knew it. Yeah. There's no way it was done right. <laughs> no. 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 If you want it done right, you call Amy. If you and if you pulled your deed off like a, a template kind of thing off online and filled it out and had somebody notarize it, it's not right. <laughs> not right. You know, I did a contract. I did a deal. Uh, probably, probably about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, where the Two people that what the con the contract the purchase agreement yeah. was on a napkin. <laughs> oh my god! It was on a napkin. They wrote up exactly what they wanted in like three sentences. <laughs> we were able to get that close. I'm like per I, the con per I the feel contract. like I'm breaking out in hives as we speak. <laughs> it was a little it was a little sliver of land, not a big project, but we were able to get it Seriously. done. Seriously, okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so call the professionals. That's right. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. See ya. Bye.